Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible. This is your match reaction. Crystal Palace nil, Arsenal won. Arsenal won this game. I mean, they won this game. They grind out a result. They, they managed to win this game. It is all over at Celsius Park and at Arsenal have held on for an important victory here. They were made to work uh, for it after Tommy Astu was actually sent off midway through the second half. And Erdegaard's uh, penalty in the 53rd minute proved to be the difference uh, in this game. It's now two wins from two for the Gunners to start the season. Palace pushed late on, but they just could not find, uh, could not quite find uh, an equalizer in this game. And for them, it's the first defeat of the campaign. But look, I mean, looking at the game, looking at the game, I thought first half it was an even game. And the second half, Arsenal, once they scored that goal from the penalty spot, which which I thought was a clear penalty, uh, after that, I think they've dominated the game. But then things have changed when Tommy Yasuo actually got sent off for the second yellow card. And then Arsenal just sat deep and said, OK, you want to beat us, come and beat us. And Crystal Palace just tried everything they got, but they just can't. They just can't beat Arsenal. And they couldn't create much chance to actually s score uh, against Arsenal. Um, looking at the Premier League table now, this is how it looks. Arsenal are third, two games, two wins out of two. That is six points. Brighton, Man City and Arsenal are staying up top there. Their next game is against Fulham. You, you, you expect Arsenal to win that game as well. You definitely expect Arsenal to win that game as well. But that's a massive three points. Sometimes if you think you could win the league by playing every single match, well, that is not going to happen. Sometimes you have to play dirty. Sometimes you have to grind up result. And this is one of those games, I think, for Arsenal. They just dug deep and they found a way to, to, to get three points. And at this time, I mean, this is the second game in the Premier League. You have to win games. You have to consistently win games. They are competing with Manchester City as well up top. So you cannot afford to drop uh, points. You just can't afford to drop points. And massive win, massive win for Arsenal. Big, big win for Arsenal. There was uh, one uh, incident that the referee did not take a look at, which was Eze actually taken down in a penalty box. And I think it was... Thomas Partey with the clip. I thought that was a penalty for Crystal Palace and somehow the referee didn't see it or he saw it and he just didn't want to give it. But it was a clear pen in my eyes and even the commentators said that it was a penalty. So I don't know why they didn't give a penalty for Crystal Palace. But all in all, I think it is what it is. I mean, you're looking at the, the, the game and Arsenal just found a way. They just found a way to win games and this is one of them. I don't think their forward played well. I don't think Havard, Saka, Martinelli played well in this game. And Kiatea had a couple of chances which he actually scuffed and missed. He had two openings and he just didn't take it. And I think if Arsenal continue to play like this, they can't they can't win the league. They just can't win the league because they need a proper center forward. And I don't think Kiatea is the answer for them. Uh, Gabriel Jesus is injured, so there's no way back for him now, right now. So. It's going to be a problem for them. I do think it's going to be a problem for them. But but for now, they, they won this game. So I think Mikhail Arteta and his team pretty much are happy uh, with the result. But do let me know in the comment sections who you guys think is mad at the match. I would give it to Edgar, not only for the goal, but I think I thought he was a much better player uh, from Arsenal point of view. He was creating chances and he did manage to find that back of the net uh, from the penalty spot as well. So I thought... I thought my um, Odegaard was was my man of the match, but do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. As always, make sure you smash that like on the stream and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. But yeah, people, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.